Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the Daily Gratitude News. This is Monday, July 6th. 2020 and i hope you all had a very nice fourth of july weekend and as you were focusing on your things you're grateful for i hope you focused on your family your friends your freedom and maybe even some fireworks some of the four f's of the weekend i hope you all had a nice time that's the tip of the day is to really think about what you were grateful for over this past weekend the information i have for you today is the science of gratitude there's a lot of new uh research and there are studies that are proving how important this gratitude is to not only you mentally but physically as well and i wanted to read just a couple of things on today's newscast appreciating what we have measurably improves our relationship our life satisfaction, our health, our sleep, and it improves our physical health, leading to fewer aches and pains, lower blood pressure, and less depression. Grateful people are more likely to take care of their health, exercise more often, and schedule regular checkups. Gratitude reduces toxic emotions like envy, resentment, frustration, anger, and aggression, and enhances positive emotions like empathy, caring, and sympathy. Too much of our time is spent pursuing things we currently don't have. Gratitude reverses that and realigns our appreciation, or realigns our priorities rather, to appreciate what we currently have. Happiness is rarely constant. So although happiness is a fantastic goal, gratitude for the tools that get you there are more important. How easily we can lose sight of everything we have to be thankful for when the circumstances of life become unpleasant. Think about coronavirus as an example. And lastly, we are our own worst critics and we hold ourselves to impossible standards and we continually compare ourselves to others. Science says that the more you choose positive and kind words to describe yourself, your health, your body, and your progress, the less anxiety you will experience. So that's the tip of the day and the news for today. We'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Take care.